we head over to our Sounders who have begun the 2023 MLS regular season, uh, doing show, show, doing so in blowout fashion against the Colorado Rapids. Uh, so a Western Conference opponent to be kicking things off. Uh, February 26th versus the Rapids at Lumen Field, a 4 to nothing victory. Our player of the game forward, Jordan Morris, uh, two goals and a 9.2 match rating. Uh, really nice to see Jordan uh, get that brace there. As I mentioned last week, you know, with our great photographers uh, from these matches and having our, our presence at these matches, I wanted to continue to highlight a photo of the match, photo of the game for the different teams that we cover uh, with the photographers that we have on site. So from that match against Colorado, it isn't Jordan uh, that I wanted to highlight the photo of. It's Hebert. Uh, and Hebert, after he scored his goal, uh, he went over. He had There was a Brazilian flag out in the front row. You can see uh, the, the folks in the front row touched his head, uh, which is interesting. Our guy Brian Saldana uh, got that shot there. Is a favorite of mine. Um, but, you know, I, I dealt with that on my own, you know, with the touching of the head. It's not even, you know, please don't touch bald people's heads unless they're okay with it, you know. Um, but, no, this was a good match. This was a really good match to open the season. Uh, I talked about it in our match recap um, of the win. You know, if – obviously, it's week one. It's week one. It's match number one for the Sounders. Uh you know, there's a lot for them that they need to continue. Raul Ray Diaz didn't play in this match. Obed Vargas did not play on this match. Um, you know, it, 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 it's it's the first match, so you can't make any conclusions from it. You can only speculate. Really, I don't like to speculate a lot, but I mean, if we're if this match is any indication of at all how the season's gonna go. Um, with the forwards playing like they were, with the midfield playing like they were, with having Jao Paulo back healthy, having Albert Rusnak, uh, Rusnak, I saw the pronunciation guide that our guy James Wallard on Twitter, the PA announcer, got. said Rusnak. Um, so we're going to try to go with that. Um, anyway, but the, the maestros that you have in the midfield, the way that the back line looks, Stefan Fry looks solid, got a clean sheet in the first match of the season, only recorded five last season and four the year before. Um, this this team is back, if that's the case. Um, the, ECS had a great TIFO where it was a spin on LL Cool J's song, uh, Mom Said Knock You Out. It had Brian Schmetzer in front of a turntable with a big gold chain that had the Sounders logo as the pendant. Um, and under it, it said, don't call it a comeback. If you've heard the song, it's a lyric in the song. I thank you to my father for making me listen to that music. Uh, so I understood the reference. It was really fun. They actually gave him a chain, too. They represented the one in the TIFO uh, before the match. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if this is the case, if the Sounders are able to get this contribution from their attackers, they best scored, uh, came on an interesting sort of play, but you see the winger and Morris score twice. Uh, Christian Roldan scored as well, uh, being able to play with a little bit more freedom since the midfield is, is fully healthy outside of uh, Vargas. Um, and, and, you know, we're able to keep that midfield structured and healthy with Paulo and Rusnak. I mean, Paulo and Rusnak, think about that. Those are two of your midfielders. And you've still got young Obed Vargas, um, who, who is not ready yet. Uh, so, and Raul Rui Diaz didn't play. You know, this, this again, don't want to get too over the moon about things uh, because it is week one in a long season against some great clubs. Um, but again, if this is any indication of where this team is headed, we're looking at another playoff run, simply put. So um, that is it for the match uh, discussion. We do have some injury-related comments. Uh, on the 21st, Raul Roy Diaz worked independently from the group in training and was considered day-to-day. Albert Rusnak rolled his ankle in training and was being assessed, but he quickly joined the squad the next day in training. Uh, Obed Vargas was ruled out officially that day on the 21st against Colorado. He's been unable to train in full for several weeks since he suffered a quad injury. Uh, And then on the 25th at training at Lumen Field, 
both Vargas and Raul Ruiz Diaz were training, uh, but they were sort of jogging and doing their own separate work on their own uh, away from the rest of the group. So, you know, with Raul being considered day-to-day, that's solid to see. Um, with Vargas, I mean, with the uncertainty of that not really knowing, it's a little concerning. But I'd, I'd say the same thing in that it's week one. And that, you know, I, I'm sure he'll be able to contribute at some point this season um, when he's back healthy. So um, all very exciting. I mean, it's it's great to have our Sounders back. Uh, it was tough last year. Obviously, CCL was great. But just to see where the team went from CCL um, was not ideal. Uh, and so to get back to that uh, with largely the same group, with some fun storylines coming into it, um, it's nice. It's really nice. So um, we'll look ahead here. The Sounders' next match is on March 4th versus Real Salt Lake. Seattle sits at a one win, zero draw, zero loss record. They are first in the league and uh, first in the Western Conference. Uh, they will look to keep that up when they host Real Salt Lake at Lumen Field on March 4th with a 7.30 p.m. Pacific time start. That match is strictly on Apple TV uh, MLS, MLS season pass. So you have to have that for the Real Salt Lake match. Uh, for this one against Colorado, you could use your Fox Sports to watch it. Uh, and I believe it was carried locally. Uh, but yes, for this next one, you'll have to have that MLS uh, Apple TV season pass. 